So as you know, at the moment I'm in Sri Lanka and I'm getting the chance to play around with some really weird materials. And one of the weird materials that I showed you before, but I'll show you again, is this diamagnetic graphite. It's a really strange graphite that you can bend like metal, but actually draws like a pencil. And they're selling this stuff online and um, you'll receive a whole bunch of flakes, which I thought was a bit of a problem. So I started to think about what you could do with the flakes to try and make it into um, molded shapes. And what I did was stick it in the flu food blender with a load of um, water and produce this really fine powder. And I produced this fine powder by sealing it and then I left it in about a litre of water, let the large chunks settle to the bottom, poured it off and then left it for five hours and it gave me this really fine powder we've got here. Now this fine powder feels really strange and it's really quite oily. And if you compress it into a little disc, and you can just do that with your fingers, It'll actually make a little disc, and that little disc is diamagnetic, it will float in the magnet. Now, um, I also thought it might be an interesting idea to try and bind that together in a kind of ink. So I added a bit of gum arabic to it to make an ink, and then I painted it onto this surface, it's just a bit of glass, and I painted a rough little shape on there. And then what I did was rub it on the table just to smooth off the top. Now, the conductivity of this is astonishing. In mind to test the conductivity for you. And we just put that at about a centimetre apart. And look at this. My metre won't read that. Now that's about a centimetre apart, and that is 0 0.000, I have no idea. But that conductivity of that ink is better than the conductivity of silver ink.